We're here at uh, the What's Next event from Fukus and we're seeing Battlefleet Gothic Armada. And we've got here two hardcore fans and the developers. So do you think it's necessary to be a hardcore fan of the, f the, the universe to do a game about that, with that? Well, definitely, definitely not. Um, this universe is accessible to anyone. It is very deep and there are a lot of stuff to learn about uh, Warhammer universe in general. But this is something really accessible. Like it's, it's like reading a book. You can always start from the beginning. But it's, it's a original is a board game and I guess there are a lot of rules I have to learn. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of rules in the board game. but. What we are doing with Battlefield Gothic is not an exact translation of the board game, it's more an adaptation, you know. Uh, the game is in real time and uh, all the um, hardcore calculation you have to make in the board game are made automatically in the game. So it's far much more accessible, of course. But still it's a strategy game where you need to be, uh, a, b need to be a, a bit... Uh, it's micro-demanding? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Uh, yes, uh, there's a bit of micro-gestion in the game, but uh, we are trying to find mechanic in order to make the game uh, more accessible, not only uh, for hardcore player. One of those mechanics is the behavior system, for example. The behavior system allow you to preset uh, behavior for your ships before the battle starts, before the battle begins. So you can focus on global strategy and global maneuvering and positioning, which is for us the most important, of course. So if I'm a fan of, uh, but if I'm a fan of Warhammer, what do I get from the game? What is, what is inside the game that... Well, you get a lot of things. Uh, we are all at the studio, hardcore fan of uh, Warhammer 40k. And uh, we put a lot of love. We play this game since we are very young. Yeah, you can <laughs> and tell uh, them that you started at 12 around something. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. So, you know, making this game is like a dream for us. And we are trying to put everything from the universe that we love a huge orc ship, a uh, terrific uh, chaos ship with the different chaos marks the Nurgle mark, the Tinch mark. And uh, also, I think that the graphics of the game uh, make this clear. Okay. And do, do you think that humor and Warhammer 2 uh, for, <laughs> for, for 2K also works? Excuse me? Humor, if it also works with the universe of Warhammer. Uh, yes, of course, it's depending on the faction uh, you are you are working on. But uh, the Orcs have many fun in it, yes. And uh, what other factions are in the game? What? What other factions are in the game next to the... the we got the Orcs and we got the humans. Yes, absolutely. There's the Imperial Navy, which is the faction you play in the campaign. There's also uh, the Chaos uh, that you can play, uh, the Orcs. And the Eldars. This is the faction we have in the basic game at first. Press watch out. We got the Space Marines faction on the way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's the difference between those factions, um, we, uh, except for the what the shifts looks like? But uh, there's of course uh, difference, uh, different gameplay regarding the faction. For example, uh, the Imperial Navy is the most basic faction, very easy uh, to learn, uh, but maybe a bit hard to master. Uh, the Chaos have uh, long-range cannons and is faster than the Imperial ship, but have less uh, armor. Uh, the Orcs have many different mechanics than, the, than those two factions. Uh, the Orcs are more subject to insubordination, and uh, it's very hard to maneuver with Orc because their ships are like so huge you just cannot turn very fast and it's quite hard to manage the Orc ship but they are very strong at boarding, very, st very strong armor 
uh, very strong at ramming the other ship. And finally, we have uh, the Eldars, and the Eldars uh, are more subtle. And there is a radical different gameplay for the Eldars, uh, because unlike uh, the other faction, uh, the Eldars engines, uh, they, they don't have a uh, plasma engine like the other faction. They have solar cells, which, in, which uh, induce uh, a very different gameplay, uh, mostly based on hit and run attack toward the enemy ship. You have to constantly move with the Eldar. They are very weak, very fragile, but if you keep moving with your ship and making hit and run attack, they are really, really strong. So they are strong against the orcs because they are very slow? Yes, but if the orcs manage to board an Eldar ship, it's finished for them. Okay, and um, it's, it's playing, it's a real-time real um, strategy game, so uh, do I need to be quick with, uh, with, with, with what I do with my, with my move? Uh, we have introduced uh, a mechanic uh, which is called a tactical cogitator with the Imperial Navy. Uh, that allow you to slow down the time uh, pretty much in order to have the time to take the best decision during the course of the battle because sometimes you know all you have to do can be a bit overwhelming and this tactical cogitator really help really help by slowing the time down okay um, and it's i mean it's, uh, from the board game it's uh, it's uh, very flat the universe is very flat have you thought about making it more more having this more in space um, the point is that we want to stay as faithful as possible to the original material. And Battlefleet Gothic is more like uh, a naval fight, you know. It's more uh, uh, a boat space game, you know, yeah. uh, because you have all those mechanics with torpedoes, boarding, ramming, and I think that it's better to stay to the original material and respect the spirit behind the game by doing so. Um, is, is there something you, you, you changed, except, I mean, that you are, that is, this is in real time? Is there other things you changed from the, from the original material? Yeah, many things. Uh, in fact, uh, Games Workshop was pretty cool with us and they like many of our ideas to you know, improve the game by adding more features like many different skills that make the game more dynamic. Uh, we have reworked some of the mechanics. Some of them have has been left over from the board game. Other has been included. It is uh, you know, a good uh, alchemy. Okay. And um, this game is coming out for PC, right? Absolutely, on only PC. Only PC. Yeah. And uh, how long do we need to wait? You only have to wait for a month. Oh. Cool. Thanks. I fear a storm coming to the Gothic sector. One we are not yet prepared to face. <laughs> <laughs>